So once you've brought WinOLS, what you want to do is go across to the evc.de website, as you can see in the top corner here, at for, uh, forward slash en for English, forward slash download. Or you can just navigate through uh, to the download on the left here, part of the screen, uh, you see the download symbol. So to buy WinOLS in the first place, you can get it from the OBD shop, .co.uk. You can buy the EVC WinOLS through here. Um, just type in WinOLS into the search box on the top right hand corner of the screen um, and you'll be able to type in WinOLS and download uh, and, and purchase WinOLS license. If you've already got it purchased and you want to buy credits, uh, EVC credits for TRC, for file credits, you can, again you can buy them through here. Um, once you've got everything installed, if you're wanting to buy files from us. So going back to the installation installation of the actual uh, software, you go over to this website, click on uh, download, and then click on WinOLS. So it's the Windows Simulation Software WinOLS OLS. Let's click on that. Um, and what you want to do is you want to download the full version for registra registered customers only. So it's the top one here. Uh, it's had a new update um, a couple of days ago, uh, the 13th of the 1st, 2021. Uh, you just want to click on that. It's compatible for Windows 7 and Win Windows 10. Um, it does say it's uh, compatible for Windows XP Service Pack 3. That's uh, what it says here. Um, but it's not very good on that. Uh, I won't recommend using it on that or Vista. I would only recommend using it on Windows 7 um, or Windows 10. I won't bother with uh, Windows 8.1. So going to la laptop specification, um, before you start installing this WinOLS into a laptop, although you do get two licenses, uh, they do limit how many times you can move your license from one laptop to another. So it's uh, I think it's you can move it once within 12 months uh, for each license. So the best thing to do to make sure you're not having any issues later is to buy a good specification laptop. Um, you want your um, operating system to be Windows 7 or Windows 10, ideally Windows 10. Um, you want it to have it. You want to have it with around minimum specification of 16 gig of RAM and a good hard drive in there, like a SSD hard drive uh, above sort of 120 gig. As uh, worth of space in there, so you've got enough space for your database as it grows, uh, and as WinOS takes up more space on the computer, uh, you've got a good spec computer to start with. And they do do a X1 Carbon laptop uh, that was made by Livado, I believe. Uh, the ThinkPad, um, that's a good one, a good laptop to get. Uh, but if you need any uh, guidance, any more guidance than that specification, there, you can let us know, and uh, we'll get back to you with. A recommended guidance for a laptop or PC. So it can't work on uh, Apple, uh, it can't work on Mac, uh, so you could run a simulation software, some people do do that, uh, but it's probably more hassle than it's worth. Uh, you're better off just having a standalone laptop that you work with WinOS that's on Windows. So yeah, to install it you want to click on this box here, it says WinOS, and as you can see in the bottom left hand corner there, it's just downloading uh, the software, the actual software, it's uh, the installation um, setup setup isn't very big at all, 50 megabytes. So I'll just pause that while that downloads. That's just finished anyway. So we're going to click open. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to press yes to allow it to work on uh, to install the software and then press next I agree to the terms and conditions you can scroll down and read through them there's nothing nothing special in there really uh, keep it to its destination folder that it wants to create for WinOS just keep it as that which is on your C drive program files Keep the file name as WinOS. Click to create a desktop uh, shortcut. 
and force driver installation. While we're, the, while we're on this screen, you can download the demo version, uh, which is completely free of charge, as you can see just on the screen here. Free of charge. Um, it's limited. You can't use it like the, the full version. Uh, but if you are doing this course and you haven't purchased it yet, you could click and download the demo version instead. So then click install. And finish. Press yes. And then this is the initial startup. So you can see you can select a range of languages here. We're going to go for English UK. Press next. And when it comes to the screen, we, we don't have to worry too much because we're going to go through settings in this course. So there's, there's a good probably 20 minutes worth of uh, content on setting up Winnells on the settings to make sure it's the easiest way to see it. Uh, we always recommend using the Windows uh, option uh, over the Winnells or the Industrial Standard. The Industrial Standard looks really cool. Uh, it looks like the Matrix, this black and green option here. Um, but it, when you're looking at data and pages and pages and pages of data, uh, it can get tiring, tiring on the eyes. It's quite difficult to work with, um, although it does look um, impressive. Uh, I would recommend going for this white and black option. It's much easier for your brain to process. Um, the contrast of the two colors work really well if you compare it to this blue, gray, and white um, option, which is the Winnells option. So click on the middle one, the Winnells, uh, the Windows version, and press Next. And again, we don't really need to worry about these too much because we'll go through these in the settings. But it says, do you prefer to work in text mode, text mode 2D or 3D? Uh, so you want to select these as text mode. Uh, sorry, not text mode, 2D. Uh, so you want to select it as this middle one here. And for maps, the middle one there again. So that's just the thing, it'll, the format, the view it will open up at in when you introduce a file to Winnells, it's the which one it will open in uh, initially. So yeah, keep them two as a middle one there. So it says the configuration is finished. Thank you. The EVC team wishes you much success with Winnells. This version has not been registered. So we'll start the registration uh, wizard now. And press start. And what that's going to do is ask us to put in the customer code and password. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause the video, type in the customer code and password, and then press the OK button. So when we come back, I would have uh, clicked the remember the password. So remember to do that when you're, you're doing it yourself. Uh, put in your customer code, which will be an, on an email that came from EVC, um, and you'll have a separate email with your password. So that'll be quite a complex password. Um, and then you want to just press the OK button and then we'll continue on from there. So we've pressed OK and what it's doing is starting a connection with between the laptop and the VC. And then it'll check for the latest software versions and uh, and then download the latest software versions if there is one. Uh, but this software version is literally two days old so it probably won't have an update. But we'll let that do its upda attempted update and then come back once it's finished. Right, so we've got the uh, an update found, which is the uh, update for the DQ250 DSG gearbox. So it's good really because I can show you how the update works. So when you, whenever you need to do an update, it'll pop up. Um, on this part here, it's just behind here, uh, it'll pop up, Let's see if I can move this, um, it'll say this is a, the version of Winalls is out of date and needs an update, you click the update button which is just behind this screen here, um, and it'll do this anyway, so press yes, 
So it wants to restart, so press yes. So I'll close WinOS and then reopen the updater, which is doing the update now. And um, that's it. So it's fully up to date. Uh, we'll just make this bigger so you can see it fully. Um, first of all, you got this tip of the day. So the tip of the day is something that will be given to you from WinOS. Um, it's useful most of the time, but after a bit, there's certain things that you'll want to say, uh, don't show this again. You can cycle through to the left or to the right for other tips of the day to, uh, to learn more. Um, and we recommend as a beginner to leave the show tips on every start ticked and um, just have a little read about that. Um, and we'll go through, when we go through the settings, we'll show you how to deactivate the tip of the days that you don't lo no longer need so it starts to show you stuff that you don't know yet. Uh, we'll cover that in the settings, uh, setting up WinOS video that we'll cover uh, later. So just press OK. And then we'll make this bigger so you can see it properly. So this is WinOS, it's fully installed, that's how you install it. Um, that's how you update it also. And then the next foot part of it will be uh, sorting out the settings. Uh, once that's sorted, then going through importing files into WinOS, um, registering with, whole, uh, with uh, resellers and um, using the file uh, databases that other resellers have. So we'll end the video there, um, continue on on the next video. We'll go through the settings and the optional and extra settings that you can change in the software, getting the win all set up so it's e easy to use, and then go through to importing files. Thank you.